guys welcome back to my channel gracious Choma here in case this is your first time tuning into my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i shave down there in this channel i share my live experience through storytelling and especially vlogs i leave my life unfiltered on camera and here is where i want to be documenting my journey my growth through life and i hope that my video inspire people i am just an average girl living in abuja but the way i get things done is what i share on my channel and i am a sucker for good food anything about beauty lifestyle skincare fashion is in this channel and also personal growth and hygiene so if it sounds like something that you would be interested in why not subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever i upload new videos and at the end of the day if you find this video helpful please do me a favor by liking this video and share this video to someone that will find it very helpful i'm also going to be showing you clips of how i shave down there but i'm going to be using my armpit to show you that and the first thing that i do down there in my kitty area is sprinkle water first i normally shave once in a month whenever I'm done with my monthly cycle. I grow very thick and stubborn hairs. So if care is not taken, it goes back in, it grows back in. And when it grows back in, it causes bomb for me. Um, but it doesn't really like grow so thick fast. So that's why I do it once in a month and I don't want to be doing it too much. Yeah, after the water, I go in with scrub. It doesn't really matter the scrub you're using. I don't think it really matters. I have a scrub I use on my feet sometimes if it's that one that i can grab i will use it but most times i use this because i always try to shave whenever it is my scrubbing day so i grab this i take just a little quantity put it down there and i massage it gently this is very soft it is not harsh so it's very good and it smells really nice so this is um, three hot vitamin C sheer sugar scrub, but I don't think the scrub really matters, but maybe it will matter because this has really helped me. Now I'm sharing this with you because since I started practicing this, it has really helped me tremendously. If you saw the top nail, I'm going to put it here. Um, the picture, this picture, I took it when I started developing bombs and I was like, why is this what is causing this i couldn't figure out what was causing it until i did a thorough research and i started doing things right i did something wrong but i started trying until i got it right and since then there is nothing like bumps anymore i have not seen bumps anymore so that's why i'm sharing this with you not just yes this is how to shave a lot of people know how to shave but this is how you're going to shave and for you not to have ingrown hairs or bumps ingrown hair comes about bumps and bumps gives yield or gives rise to dark spots around there after the scrubbing you're going to massage in well so i try to massage in for like a minute 30 seconds to 60 seconds massaging it well so i don't just massage just the surface um the lips by the corner not like the leaves and then you put it you don't have to put it inside um the scrub doesn't really even get to you know all the hairy place especially even the butt area i i i am always very careful when i'm putting scrub there i don't really take scrub like there just my hand that has a little scrub in it i just scrub it around so i always try to be very careful for scented products not to get into my kitty like i don't want that so i focus more on here because this is basically where i know i can get bone and ingrown hairs so i wouldn't get it in the other parts so that's why i don't really focus more on scrubbing there but i scrub a little but i focus more here so once you're done scrubbing the next thing you do is to wash out the scrub then after the scrub, you're going to be shaving with a base. Some people shave with shaving cream. Some people shave with um, hair remover, hair remover cream or sprays. Some people shave with conditioner, hair conditioner. I shave with aloe vera. I go all over 
it's like a shaving paste this is my holy grail product when it comes to skincare i use it to shave my face my armpits my kitty anywhere shaveable rub it all around there and also go down around your butt crack area aloe vera has this cooling and nourishing sensation when you apply it and this can also help to reduce dark spots i have this two shading b this one is what I've, I've been using i've used it for about six months this thing is very expensive and funny enough it's just two blades i still notice that no matter the practice i do when I use the regular shaving bake, I use it once and I throw it away. Sometimes um, the hair grows back in faster. It's not like really smooth, smooth. Um, sometimes I'll notice maybe bump one or two. Um, there was a time I had a major breakout and I decided to change my shaving bake. So that time I got this. This is Gillet. I love this because it has this um, soft thing here that feels so smooth on the skin when you're shaving. When I got this, I got this 12,000 Naira. And when I was buying, I was like, I'm used to using shaving big ones and I'll do away with it. So I didn't really understand why I would buy 12,000 Naira and I'll then throw it away. It sort of explained to me that it's not something I use once and throw it away. It is something that I use and I still cover it up and I keep it. And when I want to use it again, I can sterilize it and still use. And I put it in an enclosed space so dust doesn't really get to it. Gillette Fusion is like this. I love this really, really well. So you can separate the head from the body. And um, if, if there's a possible way you can buy this, you can do away with this and buy this and put back in. So it is that good when i was shopping from shine i saw this really and it was really affordable i can't remember if i bought it four or five dollars and this is four blades i'm sure this one would be better this is two blade but this one will i've not used this before but this is four blade and if i can get them out of this i'll do away with it and replace it but once i'm I'm done with this i'm going to go to this and see how it feels but for now this is what i use two blade and it's very good but if you can get four blade that would be better because this two blade doesn't really do it for me once once you go one two everything is filled up and you want to keep washing and washing and washing off the hairs again to go again and sometimes it feels like there's a lot of hair there are a lot of hairs there and i need to like know where i am what have i achieved and I use water to wash off. I go over it again with aloe vera gel and go the second time. I do it like two to three times before I get my desired result. Your shaving big really matters a lot. After shaving it and I'm sure that I've gotten a smooth consistency, the next thing I do is to moisturize. And I don't moisturize with any other thing other than coconut oil. So this is pure coconut oil. This is actually for cooking. I cook with this. I use this for my hair. I use it for shaving too. To separate it from the hair and the shaving, this is my vitamin C container that finished. And because it has this dropper, it has this dropper that I really like. I put um, some quantity in here to use this for my skincare and this will be in the kitchen so that I'm not going to be carrying the kitchen stuff to the bathroom. But I use this, I drop a little drops around my kitty surface, like all around. Especially if it's original coconut oil. Coconut oil is very good. Coconut oil is not bad for you, kitty. But I still don't put it inside. So I use this to moisturize all around both my butt crack area that I shaved. And it leaves it glowing and shiny. This is literally how I shave. Practicing this for a very long time has really helped my kitty to feel better. I have not had breakouts. I've not had ingrown hairs. And one thing again you need to know is that you need to grow, you need to shave according to the direction of the hair. If your hairs grow up, please try to shave up. If your hairs are growing down, please try to shave down. If your hair is growing up and you're shaving it down, is that you're confusing the hairs. It's growing up and then you're pushing the direction down 
when he wants to grow back again some will grow up and some will grow down and they keep getting confused and one thing one might grow up another one close to it will grow down and they will coil back in and especially you know we africans we have coily hairs so it's going to coil back in and enter your skin and it's it will keep growing inside and thereby causing that is ingrown hairs and that ingrown hairs will cause bump some of them are painful some of them comes produces boils or pop. so this is basically how i shave and it has really helped to lighten my kitty area down there it has also helped to prevent me from having ingrown hairs if you have some products you've tried and they are very good i would like to try them please leave a comment down there for me in the comment section like this video share this video i'm going to see you next time in my next video Bye bye